Yeah, that's a, that's a very good question. I mean, um, again, with books, I mean, the, the children's books, I think, as, see, something like this, you're not going to get this on a Kindle because a kid will not be able to. A kid needs a touch and feel book. So the kids' books are, are one part of the the book business that is still expanding mm. because they will, you know, kids need books, not Kindles or whatever. You know, they need real books to, you know, up to about maybe 10 or 12 years old. They still need real books to get their hands on, really, generally. Um, but, you know, more and more adults are buying books on Kindles. You know, it doesn't do anything for me personally, but um, I, I think it's like probably having a blow up doll as opposed to a, a real woman, you know, I suppose. No, strange analogy, I know. <laughs> uh, but you know what I mean? Uh, but uh, what you need is um, <laughs> you, 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 uh, you have to be aware that people are, um, more and more people are, are um, buying on Kindles, but some people come here, they do a bit of both really. They, they buy stuff on Kindles if they're going on holiday and they'll still buy um, books on um, on paper, perhaps not as what they used to, you know, yeah. obviously, but they are doing a bit of both. And some people have just gone straight, straight over to the um, e-readers. Yeah. Um, and then, then, then there's the, uh, the, um, the threat from people like um, these, um, people like Amazon who managed to sell four billion pounds in the UK but pay hardly any tax. I don't know how that really <laughs> works out, you know. Four billion pounds, that's a hell of a lot of in sales, and yet they had more in grants than they paid in tax last year, which, anyway, I mean, it's it just the big boys have a lot of uh, pull on governments, and which is not, it's not a level playing field. Um, but it's the same for everybody else, so you just have to learn to sort of try and, um, uh, you know, you have to try and develop the business, do more promotions, and, um, you know, you have to have a thick skin, you go, you're going to have people coming in here and, um, Saying, oh well, I can buy that for I mean, even the supermarkets. Uh, some of the um, some of the best sellers, they sell them at half price. They sell them at a loss. Mm. They're loss leaders. Um, but you can't do that. You know, you don't even get them for that price. And uh, but uh, it's just something that you just have to learn to live with. Um, which is another reason, you know, if if it carries on like this, you're just going to end up having. Um, you will still have bookshops in the country, but what will happen is yeah. you'll probably have bookshops that sell, say, kids' books, mm. and they might sell some adult books, yeah. but they will start selling, for instance, second-hand books because yeah. most of the second-hand bookshops do well, yeah. you know. So that, that's uh, you know that's yeah, something yeah. that I might have to start doing yeah. in the future, you know, if, if yeah. uh, more and more bookshops do do that. You know?